guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is an Aldi sneak peek into the ad starting at, let's see, October, starting on October 6th. Stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I typically do Dollar Tree related videos, but occasionally I do show Aldi hauls and meal plans. If you like that kind of thing, check me out below and subscribe. So this video is going to be a little bit different. When I go shopping, it'll be just kind of in between the cycles. And um, so I'll be working on a list as well. So you can see on my screen, I have a task list over here. You can associate that with your Google account. If you have Gmail, you have a tasks um, list also that you can access and you can take with you on your phone. Uh, that way it's with you all the time and you can edit it, you know, if you're at the doctor's office or at work or something and you want to add something to your task list, it's always with you. So the way that I organize this is the way that my store is laid out and the the headings aren't exactly, you know, um, headings that would resonate with everybody, but they resonate with me because I know exactly what the aisle looks like. I know what I go to that aisle for. So for example, produce is followed by breads. I know in the breads they have other things um, like crackers and stuff that I don't, I don't typically get, but I know it's there. But because I get bread there, I put breads. And then cheeses, some ready-made kinds of stuff like um, potato salads and things. Then tea, cereal, the seasonal aisle, cleaning and bath, meat, yogurt, eggs, milk, frozen meat, ice cream, um, and then the uh, pantry with tacos and spaghetti. So I'm sure most of our stores are pretty similar the way the layout is, but you know, I say do what works for you. There's one aisle in here that I don't always go in. I go in like every other week or once a month, which is this last aisle, um, just because I don't always need to buy, you know, taco seasoning every week or um, spaghetti every week, you know. So I leave that for last because I don't always go there. So yes, let's look, take a look at this ad and oh, yay. All right, so I'm gonna scroll in. You guys, if these are the planners that they had last year and the year before, love, love them. So much so last year that I bought a couple and I just wanna show you the second one, the one that I ended up not using. Oh, so nice. It has the monthly pages and the, the um, weekly also, you know, room at the back for notes. They have lots of um, stickers as well. So if these are those planners, get them because they're so awesome. The only snafu I had with these was that sometimes the stickers were a little bit off, but these look great actually in this one. So check out the stickers when you buy them because I didn't look at those. But yes, these are so, oh my gosh, and look, I think I see a leaf one over here. And for $4.99, you cannot beat that. So I might buy like three. We'll see how many I can get my hands on. Uh, yes, and more of these Tumblr style mugs. These are $9.99 each. This one looks like a teal color and there's a pink one. Those have been working well for me. I, I have one that, I have two that are of different shapes, but they have a similar kind of lid and it's the same brand. I love them. Uh, $8.99 for Huntington Home Home Designer Jar Candles. They have so many, so many different kinds of candles. I feel like there's new ones every week. Um, I heard that the fall ones were good and I did end up buying a couple uh, and they've been working really well some pretty good throw for like a large um two room kitchen plus living room uh yeah 4.99 little journey children's step stool or toilet seat 14.99 for a costco booster seat it's a pretty good price and 24.99 for the safety touch touchless thermometer good to have especially if you are um taking temperatures of kids before school. $9.99 for a two pack of kids large canvas bins. These have a rainbow design. I would not be surprised if there's um, a blue, more of a boyish type design as well. And then these leggings are $12.99. So these are maternity one pack, jaggings or two pack 
leggings. Nice, very, very nice. $6.99 for a 16 piece durable food storage set and $4.99 for these collapsible portion storage containers. So, so good for saving space, um, especially if you're like me and all your containers are <laughs> of different sizes and they don't always cradle inside each other. I try to do that nesting method and usually it works really well, but sometimes for stuff like this, where the trays are very specific, um, and, you know, very different kinds of shapes like that, they, you know, aren't really going to fit. So um, very nice that they are collapsible. $16.99 for Huntington Home Expandable Under Sink Shelf. I'm curious to see how big this is. Let's see if there's any details. Lately, when I've been clicking for details, um, it has not been showing me. So sorry for all the scrolling. I'm sorry if this makes you dizzy. Yeah, no, honestly, all it seems to do these days is just kind of enlarge the item, which is great, but I can just zoom in, you know? <laughs> so, oh, well, $3.49 for the Huntington Home Home Vinyl Tablecloth. I used to be against the vinyl tablecloths. I thought they were so like from my childhood and, you know, very 80s. Now having a family of my own, I get it now. Mom, you are correct. <laughs> I actually ended up buying a pretty nice white one on Amazon and it ended up being like $22 for a larger size rectangular one. But these would be kind of cute if they're not too crinkly or smelly. I might give those a shot. All right, and let's look, what else? All the Halloween stuff. So, so many kits and crafts, just fun stuff that you could do with your family. I see this here. Okay, so let's get going with this list. This first page looked like all home stuff, so I'll put it under seasonal uh, for, let's see, let's take a look at the planners. Let's look at the plant design ones. And then also for seasonal, I'm going to look at this Crayola Colorful Skills Cookie Kit. Oh, and there's um, a house cookie kit too. Um, there's a Reese's Pieces one. So this Crayola one is $4.99, $4.98 for the Reese's and the Giant Cookie one. And then $7.89 for the Benton's Chocolate Haunted House Cookie Kit. That's really, really cute. I could totally see like some Dollar Tree accessories going with that, you know, the really little ones. Just watch out though, because if kids are eating this, they might want to eat the Dollar Tree stuff, you know, like the plastic, you know, you don't want that. So if you don't have super, super littles, um, I think that'd be a fun thing to do. $2.49 for the In The Mix Halloween Skulls and Eyeballs. This is so stinking cute. I might add that to Eyeballs Cookie Kit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And these Day of the Dead skulls for this Crayola one. How adorable. Halloween coffee. What is that? So that is Ethiopia Single Origin Raven's Roast. Okay, so Raven. I can see that being um, Halloweenish honey with vibrant fruit tones. Hmm. I thought maybe it would be Halloween because it had pumpkin in it, but I don't think it does. Uh, this pasta, though, looks like a lot of fun. Reggiano Halloween Pasta, $1.99. So maybe we'll do that as like a, a party kind of thing um, for my daughter. Um, we will still be social distancing around Halloween, doing our own kind of thing. So it'll be nice to have our own kinds of celebratory stuff. $4.99 for the Two Bite Halloween Brownie Platter. And $2.99 for Halloween cereal. <laughs> yeah, so if you shop at the Dollar Tree, you know that you could probably get these there after season, so uh, post season, so like around Christmas. I feel like I saw, that's when I saw the like Dracula Boo cereal kinds of stuff. $2.75 for the Halloween Pop-Tarts. <laughs> okay, gosh, they can make anything Halloween, right? So why are these Halloween? Oh, because they have designs at the front. And they're chocolatey churro. Oh, I wish I didn't see that. That looks delicious. Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats Kit for $4.99. You can make your own shapes and stuff. 
decorate, etc. And then $2.99 for these Hanover pretzel snack packs. There's 24 in here. I think, which is crazy to see the ones at Dollar Tree, I think there's like a, is it a six pack or a 10 pack for a dollar? If you know, please let me know. Because I'm just curious about what the deal is price-wise. But these, of course, would be different because they have the Halloween theme on the bag. I don't think they're actually Halloween pretzels, though. But whatever. It's all fun. Aldi Savers. So where is the rest of the food? Is this it for food? There's nothing else for food? That's so weird. Maybe... So this is the ad from... Um, the week prior, which is this week, which is when I'm filming, it's this week. So I'll take a look at this too, but let's make sure to finish this preview first. Okay, so Aldi Savers with the meat deals of it, available Wednesday, October 6th, $4.49 a pound for the grass fed ground beef, uh, $85.15, sold in a four pound package for $17.96. And then we have the $7.99 uh, Chuck Roast. If you like, it's available. So that's organic too. All right, where is the food? But let's look at this week's. Uh, I would not be surprised if some of these prices translate into um, the 10 6 cycle because that happens. So I'm going to write some of these things down and if they're not on sale usually the the original price is not so far off that it's not doable because it's still it's still Aldi so <laughs> they have pumpkins I'm going to save the pumpkins for some of the local patches that are around our house but that's a good deal 40 249 for a pumpkin pineapple though let's add that 169 each probably get two of those and um I think I'll also save the honey crisps for the local um orchard so 249 for for a two pound bag that's pretty good Ooh, though my fave you guys are probably sick of hearing me say this year after year but the caramel apples or caramel whichever camp you go by pronouncing that word doesn't matter because it's delicious either way so I'm gonna add that in <laughs> and then possibly the $1.99 a five pound bag of potatoes I'll put a question mark near there I can always use potatoes um, tomatoes I'm gonna skip but these are $2.89 for a 10 pound package which I think is a pretty good deal these are grape tomatoes and have you guys had this the the Wagyu 75% lean ground beef especially selected for $4.29 and then $6.99 for the gourmet blend beef burgers, the wall burgers. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I am excited. I'm excited. Okay, so I believe that the ravioli is near the ready made stuff. So, guys, butternut squash ravioli. If you have not had it, go for it. And if you're able to find a vodka sauce or some kind of creamy tomato sauce, I think that is the best sauce for these. Sometimes these can go really plain um, with a little bit of butter, no sauce at all. It's so rich and filling and just so delicious. So I am definitely putting that here. Hopefully they are still there. <laughs> yes, I put down four packages and also possibly the pumpkin sage um, ravioli. We'll get a couple of those to give those a shot. have not tried those yet. Uh, so those are $2.99 a package. And then the oh tomato basil. Yes, I know that for soup, totally more economical to make it on your own in big batches. These, though, are specially ready-made kinds of things. Um, so honestly, I just kind of want to give it a, a try. I just want to taste it. So specially selected um, tomato basil soup. Okay, $1.99 on sale from 249, which is pretty good. The sourdough bread I've had there before, it's pretty good, 339 for this big 24 ounce thing. And then $1.99 for mozzarella. Oh, before I forget, let me add a couple loaves, three loaves of white bread. So we are doing this sandwich ministry um, where I have committed to giving 24 sandwiches a week 
of uh, meat and cheese. So we need some bread. We need some Swiss cheese slices. Packages times, we'll do three. And then the deli turkey. And I usually buy, um, for the sandwich ministry, I buy those really big, <laughs> enormous packages. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't buy them. We don't go through deli meat that fast. So deli turkey packages times two. All right. And we have sandwich bags and labels and all that. Um, 85 cents for steamable broccoli florets. Yum. So good. And then here, let's go over here first. So $1.99 for the provolone cheese. If the Swiss is, I'm going to have to look at the amount, but if the Swiss is more expensive, I might go with the provolone. Depends. Depends. It says 12 slices. We'll see how it goes. $5.99 for the large cooked shrimp. I really like their shrimp. I usually get the, the large or the jumbo um, raw and I, it's more smelly, I know, to deal with because you have to unshell them and defrost them and stuff, but I don't know, it's just so delicious. So, so delicious. Uh, two forty nine for the Parkview Original or Turkey Kielbasa. $1.19 for chicken broth. Oh, I definitely need broth. I've been making a lot of soups lately, so we'll get some veggie broth and chicken broth. <clears throat> And I think I'll get some. I like their organic marinara. Uh, not necessarily because it's organic, although that's a plus. But actually, I think it tastes really good. 59 cents for black beans. Oh, we need some chickpeas. <clears throat> we like to put those on salads and soups. So we need a couple cans of that. And I do want a couple cans of tomato soup because we've been having some grilled cheese with tomato soup lately. Uh, 68 cents for the diced tomatoes with green chilies. I could always use diced tomatoes. We put those in hmm, soups and sauces, so many different things. Just get two of those. Oh, guys, so I tried, see this $1.99, uh, especially selected macaroni and cheese? <laughs> so I finally tried the pesto one. I was a little afraid because I thought, ooh, it might be too basil-y for mac and cheese. It was so good. So good. It's terrible for you. Terrible for you. But it was delicious. So I we have that occasionally for lunch, um, especially since lunch is always at home. So, um, yeah. We might go for one of these. This one looks like, it's hard to see it. This is where the sea details might be an advantage. There we go. Oh yes. So I've had this truffle and porcini a couple different times now. It's really good. But there's assorted varieties. I'm willing to bet the um, ones that I bought before are still there. So yeah, as excited. Uh, Tuscan Garden Pepper Assortment for $1.89. Ooh, that reminds me. In the dressing aisle or something like that, I need some uh, olive oil. Here we go. Olive oil and also um, cereal bars and we need the iced tea. We've been really liking the iced tea mix. It's lasted us a long time. I can't remember if it's Bremer or Bren Benner or what, but the iced tea mix. Okay. And so, sorry, sorry. I know. Dizzy, dizzy. So these are more specialty kinds of things. Sometimes they're still there. Um, I'm just going to show them on the screen. I won't go through them because um, technically, this is a video for October 6th, so um, these items were on sale the previous week, so uh, in case you wanted to see, I will show them. These pumpkins are cute, $6.99 though. I don't know, depends how big they are. <laughs> um, and then the, again with the LED boards, I saw on the Facebook groups that there was a rainbow one. How cute. A hammock chair, which is probably long gone. Some Adirondack chairs, very nice. 
very, very nice. And I, you know, I really like their rugs and kitchen stuff. We probably shouldn't, but I put the um, rugs, which you're not supposed to wash in the washing machine. I do. I put it on gentle, like a couple times a year and it's fine. And I hang it to dry. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go through this list, kind of fine tune some things and add the rest of the stuff that I typically get, but is not in the ad. Um, I definitely want the spinach and arugula mix. Uh, we need some cucumbers. We have um, some hummus from Kroger. So we do cook cucumbers with hummus and baby carrots. I am out of celery. I use that all the time for tuna sandwiches and soups. And um, I usually just put fruit sometimes because it depends on how it looks. At Aldi, I will never know. So bananas are usually a staple, but if they don't look good there, I'm not going to get them, obviously. Um, let's see, three loaves of white bread. We could do the um, cinnamon raisin bread. Actually, no, I think my husband will want <clears throat> cinnamon raisin bagels and um, another bread for us. White bread. My daughter has been super into toast. Oh, yeah, so we need, oh, yeah. We, this is the aisle that we need a lot of stuff. So salmon, um, chicken breast, chicken legs, um, yogurt. We usually like the specially selected, but I might steer clear because there's so much sugar. Um, eggs times two and almond milk. Uh, frozen meat and ice cream wanted to get some chicken tenders. I like having something frozen on hand so that we're not so tempted to buy out for dinner. Even if it's like chicken nuggets for dinner, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see, chicken tenders and maybe, I kind of don't want to get ice cream. Maybe like fudge, fudge pops or something, you know, something more portion controlled. And then the pantry, I think we're good there with the broth, chickpeas, and soup. So yeah, and of course, you know, if I see something in store that I forgot to put on the list, I'll get it then. Yeah, that's typically how I do my shopping. Um, and yeah, if they don't show the produce like this week, then I don't sweat about it because it's Aldi still and the prices are still way better. I end up saving at least... 40% on my bill, even compared to Kroger, which really isn't that expensive compared to some other stores. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Let me know what things in the ad that you've liked and uh, if there have been anything from this past week that you bought on special like the seasonal stuff that you really liked or maybe didn't really like. I'd love to know your feedback because it's been a while since I've been at Aldi like this. A lot of these visits lately have been like in and out, you know, super fast. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.